Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be filming my February favorites. I know it's a little bit late in March, but I have a lot of favorites to share with you, so I figured I would just go ahead and do it anyways. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by doing my favorites in terms of eyes. And the very first thing that I have is the Stila Eyes Are the Window Spirit Palette. And the packaging looks like this. I have a little bit of splotches all over it from makeup hands, but it's really pretty metallic-y color. And then whenever you open it up, it has a really big mirror on the inside. And then you can see all of the colors right here. It's just a really beautiful palette. And I think it's great for um, the fall time, as you can see, it has a lot of raspberry colors, a lot of warm colors, and most of them are really shimmery. So um, I wore this a lot during February just because um, even though it's winter time and everything like that, I still wanted my eyes to pop and giving them that shimmery glow really helped with that. So yeah, the Stila Eyes Are the Window Spirit Palette. Okay, and then the next thing I have is also another eyeshadow, and this one is by Makeup Geek. It is called Shimma Shimma, and this one I would use to highlight my brow bone as well as putting it in the inner corner of my eye, like I said, just to give my eyes a little bit of a pop because I do have really brown eyes and they're not super exciting. So as you can see, it's really, really pigmented see it right here on my hand. It's just got a really nice shimmery glow and I love it. It's great. Okay, the next thing that I have for my favorites in terms of eyes is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I actually just got this um, at the beginning of February. And it looks like this. It has a really nice fluffy brush on it. So it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay. And then the next thing I have is actually by Ulta. It's an Ulta brand product. And this is the brow tint. And it's in the color deep because as you can see, my eyebrows are very dark, much like my hair. And it has a little wand like this. And I've been told that this one is really similar to the Benefit eyebrow tint, but this one is pretty cheap. I think it was like eight bucks and then I got it um, on a sale, I think, or maybe I just used my points, but the Ulta Brow Tint. Love it. It's awesome. And it makes your brows stay in place all day, which is pretty great. Okay. The next thing I have is actually a Benefit product, and it is the Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. And I've had this, oh my gosh, how long have I had this? For like a good four or five months, and it still has plenty of product in it. I use it every single day. The wand looks like this. Um, it just really makes my eyeshadow stay on all day long and it keeps the colors really pigmented and there's no creasing or anything like that so I love this product and I am in the color hold on I can tell you maybe I can't light medium it's right there on the cover go figure okay so the benefits stay don't stray I'm gonna go ahead and move on to face products so I'm actually pretty excited to talk about this next one. It is the foundation of life for me right now. Um, this is kind of weird to say, but I have never once ran out of a foundation before, and I'm out of this one. This is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil-Free Foundation. It looks like this. I'm in the color G20, and it's my fair color right now, and it's what I wore all winter long. Like I said, this stuff is amazing. It is oil free, but it has like a very liquidy texture to it. It goes on super smooth. It's what I have on my skin right now. And um, it doesn't cake or anything like that. The only thing that I would say to be careful with it is if you get um, any areas where it 
could like form lines like in um, my forehead area and then right here under my nose because I laugh a lot and I have a lot of facial expressions. Sometimes it will crease a little bit but as long as I set it with a powder or with uh, a long-term setting spray, I'm good to go. But honestly, this stuff is so amazing and it's so moisturizing even though it is oil-free and I just absolutely love it. Oh, and by the way, I have combination skin. So like almost everyone else with combination skin, I get oily in the T-zone and then the rest of my skin can get a little bit dry and then under the eye area is where I usually get the most dry. But this stuff works great, and I have combination skin. So, that is that. The next thing that I have is actually a newbie for me. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Um, it looks like this on the inside. It's just a really pretty bronze color. I use this to contour my cheekbones and then up in the forehead area. I actually didn't have time to do this today because I was running late for work, but whenever I do have time to contour, this is what I will use and it is just absolutely amazing. And I'm in the color MBB03, so medium. And it's super creamy. It's super easy to just Blend out, it's pretty pigmented. I don't know if you can see right there. Yeah, it's pretty pigmented. Woo! Flash. And it looks like that. But with my skin tone, I'm very olivey, so it matches really, really, really well. And if you want to see a video with me using this product, just give it a thumbs up and I will do that for you. So the next face product that I have is the Tarte. Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder, okay? This stuff I've seriously had forever. It's just a very translucent pressed powder. Looks like that. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so whenever you apply it to your skin, it's just going to uh, add a little bit of an extra glow, and I love it. It's just awesome. I've like almost made a dent in it, as you can see, and I've had this stuff forever. I want to say probably about 10 months now and I'm just now making a dent. This stuff lasts forever. I just use it to set my entire face um, and it really helps with the liquid foundations for it to not crease. So this stuff is awesome. Love Tarte. Love their products. Love that. Okay. The next thing that I have, I actually have it on my cheekbones today. I know it's all the rage and everyone's totally obsessed with it, but it is a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder. And this one is in the color Opal. I mean, just look at that. It's just so beautiful. And it's so pigmented. Look at that right there. Oh, it's just awesome. And... Oh, I just, I can't even get enough of that. See that shimmery glow right there? Oh yeah, that's nice, huh? So I put this all over my cheekbones and sometimes I'll even use it for that inner light, um, inner eye highlight and it's just awesome. Um, it's a great product, lasts all day. I've had my makeup on since about 7.30 this morning and it still has that shimmer, so you can see. I just love it. Okay. My next product is also a Becca Cosmetics product, and it is this little guy right here, and it's a Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle, and this is what it looks like on the inside. And so the way that I was described um, about this whenever I went into Sephora and I purchased it, it's like having one of the Skin Perfector um, highlighting products and a blush combined. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's like a shimmery color and it has kind of um, like a rosy peachy gold looking tint in there. And so whenever you put that on the cheeks, it's going to give you what a blush and what a Becca highlighter would be in combination. So it's not something you would necessarily just use on your cheekbones. It can be something that you put over a blush or it can be something you wear on your own. It's just really versatile and I absolutely love it. And it's kind of like a jelly material and so I would use like a synthetic brush, something actually like this right here. 
And I would just dab it, swirl it in, and then apply it to the cheekbones. Okay, I have two more face products. And this one that I have right here is the NYX HD Concealer. And it looks like this. Okay, and I just recently picked this up um, at the beginning of February as well with some of the other products. And the applicator looks like this. And I use it for underneath my eyes. I absolutely love it. Uh, I haven't had this one crease on me. I have been using the Alme under eye concealer for a while, but then I switched over to this one whenever I heard some other beauty bloggers talking about it. And I absolutely love it. This thing, like I said, I have it underneath my eyes today and it's lasted me all day. Even though I did set it with the pressed powder that I talked about earlier, this stuff has still lasted me all day. So absolutely love it. And right now I am in the color CW02 Fair Clear. It's pretty cute. All right, and then my last face product that I have is the Josie Moran Argon Illuminizer, and it looks like this little bottle right here. Let me tell you, I've had this thing for probably about a year now, and I have barely made a dent in it. Like, no, I this is not even a dent. This thing is like, I don't know, it looks like two pumps, maybe. But this stuff lasts forever, and it has a nice little pump. I will show you kind of what it looks like on my hand right here. So just mixing that in so you can see it's just really shimmery. I know I like pumped out way too much, but it's super shimmery. See, it catches the light really, really well. And so what you can do with this product is kind of mix a little bit of it in with your foundation. And I like to do this because I'm a Florida girl and even though I'm in another state right now, um, it's really hard for me to get over that dewy Florida, you know, sunshine look. And so even in the winter months, especially in February, as things were starting to turn into spring, I would mix this in with my foundation and it would just give me this awesome, super dewy, glowy looking skin. Um, another way that you can use it is to just use it as a highlighter and use another steepling brush like this and kind of just dab a little bit onto your hand, way less than I did, and then just dab it onto the cheekbones. Or you can put it underneath a blush and then put a blush over it and it'll just give you that extra glow. So yes, the Josie Marian Argon Illuminizer. Absolutely in love, lasts forever, definitely worth the investment if it's one of your first purchases for a highlighter. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to lip products, which are some of my favorite products of all time. I absolutely love lipstick, lip gloss, chapstick, you name it. I absolutely love it if it has to do with the lips. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first two lip products that I have are actually lip balms. This is the first one right here and it is Smith Strawberry Lip Balm. And then it says something in French. So it, um, comes in this little container and then whenever you open up it looks like this and let me tell you I don't know if you can see but I have like barely made a dent in this I've had this for a year at least definitely at least a year and I use this every single night before I go to bed I put it on my lips just to extra moisturize and I wake up every single morning with super refreshed lips and they're super smooth, ready for product whenever I'm doing my makeup in the morning. Absolutely love this stuff. Okay. The second chapstick, if you will, is the Sugar Rose Fresh Chapstick. And I actually just got this again at the beginning of February. And I have made a dent in it. A pretty big one. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I don't like carrying this Smith's product with me like around town or like to work or anything because you have to dip your finger into it and I always like to have sanitized hands before I dip my hand into any type of product so when I'm on the go I will use this one it keeps my lips lips <laughs> lips lips moisturized for hours on end absolutely love this stuff so sugar rose fresh oh and it smells really good <sighs> like not even like 
like sweet roses or something like that. Like, I don't know. If you go into a Sephora, you're just going to have to smell it for yourself because it's just too good to even describe. Okay. The next product I have is an Ulta lip liner pencil and it's the automatic lip liner and it's in the color Flush. Now, I just recently got into lip liners. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but to be honest, before this past year, I thought it was only something that like my mother or grandmother wore until I started seeing all of the beauty bloggers and vloggers um, kind of talking about lip liners. And so I started falling in love with them. And so I'm going to swatch this for you right here. You can see it. It's just a really fleshy tone. It's perfect for the switch in seasons whenever you want to, you know, do up your eyes and just kind of have a new lip. I actually have it on my lips right now with another combination I am about to talk about. But this is awesome. And it's really versatile with a whole bunch of different colors. So that's great. Okay, the next one I have is Bite Beauty Lipstick. And this one is in the color Salut. And it's the Luminous Cream Lipstick Collection because I know they've kind of come up with a few. But it looks like this. I've used this bad boy up. It is just insane how much I've used. I'll swatch it for you next to the Flesh Lip Liner. And it looks like that. So it kind of has more of like a brownie, orangey color to it. It's a great nude. It's what I have on my lips right now. And then I have a gloss over top of that. But it's perfect whenever you're doing your eyes up or even if you just want an overall natural look and you want your lips to have kind of just that healthy glow. Okay, now just to talk about it in order, I have the Tarte Cosmetics Lip Gloss and this is in the color Nice. And I have the little one right here. It actually came in my big thing. What is this? The Away We Go palette. And it actually came with a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not going to talk about right now. That's a whole other video to get into. But it came from that collection. And I absolutely love this gloss. Um, there's a lot of product in the little tube. But it has this kind of applicator, which I love because you get a lot on the brush, which is really nice. And I'm just going to kind of swatch it next to these for you. Okay, so it's the gloss down here. As you can tell, it kind of goes with the flesh lip liner really well. And then the combination together just, I think, it looks really healthy on the skin. Um, it really makes the skin glow because your lips are really just fresh looking. And I don't know. I love that look. Okay, so the next lip product that I have um, is from Ulta. And I was kind of just in the nude color, I don't know, I guess I was just on the bandwagon for February, which is kind of weird because it's still a winter month. But anyways, this is what it looks like right here. And it's in the color 257 Buff. That's the name of it, Buff. And it's pretty cute. I don't know, it's just like a light nude color. And it goes on really, really smooth and creamy. It's this one right here. So as you can see, it's got a little bit more of a pink undertone than the Bite Beauty lipstick. And it's really shimmery, super light. It's something you can just throw on underneath a gloss and you're good to go. Love that one. Okay. The last lip product I have is another Bite Beauty product. And it's uh, with the Luminous Cream Lipstick line as well. And it's in the color Rosé. Yes, Rosé. Okay, and it looks like this color right here. It's kind of like a fuchsia pink slash red rosé color. Yeah, I mean, goes with the name, right? But I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's perfect for like the switch over into spring. I wore this a lot in February, like a lot, a lot. And it looks like that. It's just so beautiful. I don't know. I absolutely love it. I would wear this with more of... um a neutral toned eye and just really made my lips pop. So that is that. Bite Beauty in the color Rosé. Absolutely love it. Okay, now I have three different kind of products. They're not 
makeup, but they do kind of go in with the makeup family. And so the first one I have to say is the Makeup Forever Professional Since Eyes uh, Makeup Remover. And I've had this stuff forever, but in the winter months, especially in February, whenever I was doing my makeup every single day, had on heavy mascara. Um, this stuff is so sensitive on the eyes and it is kind of like a, I don't know if you can see at the bottom, I barely have any left, but it's more of like a cream based instead of a water base. So it doesn't really get into the eyes if you have them closed tight enough. And it's super sensitive, never dried my eyes out. It actually ended up moisturizing more than anything. So I absolutely love this stuff. If you have dry eyes, sensitive eyes, I highly recommend this. I mean, it has sense eyes in the name, so you would think it's good for sensitive eyes. So yeah, that's it. Makeup Forever Professional Sense Eyes. Okay. And then two other products to kind of wrap this video up are lotion products. And my mom actually sent me a care package. It was so cute because she told me about it and then didn't send it to me until like three weeks after she told me about it. So I was like calling her. Okay, let's get real here. It was about once a day um, to send my care package. And in that, I have this little guy. It's a Soap and Glory hand food, and it's a hydrating hand cream. So where I am now, the winter is, um, let's say, more so winter than anything I've experienced in Florida. And so she knew that I was having a lot of problems with dry, cracky hands, which is kind of gross, but it is what it is. And so she sent me this stuff, and it smells so good. It's just like a fresh, feminine, sweet, but not too sweet smell. And it's really hydrating for the hands. I'll put this on maybe like twice a day. And unless I'm washing my hands all the time, I'm good to go. It's thick, but it's not oily. And so, I don't know, I just love this product. Hand Food by Soap and Glory. Okay, last product of the video and probably one of my favorite products ever, especially having moved up to um, a more northern state, is the Goud from Burt's Bees Natural Body Lotion, and mine is in Mango Moon Breeze. And it looks like this. I've had this stuff for probably the entire winter season. I've used it every single night, still haven't run out because it's so moisturizing. You just need a little bit and you're good to go for a long way. Um, absolutely love this stuff. It smells good. It smells fresh. It smells like the islands, which reminds me of home, but it's just awesome. Um, and like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So if you have really dry skin, which I have dry skin, skin anyways, but being somewhere where the winter is a little bit harsher than what I'm used to, good lotion goes a long way. So good from Burt's Bees. And I will have all of this information listed in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to have everything for you guys listed down in the description box below. Leave me any comments for what you guys had for your favorites for February. And please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.